Rally America on ESPN is presented by the new game Xbox Magazine calls the best racer on Xbox 360 yet, Dirt. And by Subaru, always ready. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Welcome back to the Ojibwe Forest Rally. It all comes down to this, the last stage. How much will Travis risk? How hard dare he push? At first, I jumped into the sport, and all I wanted to do was just attack, attack, attack. The, the bottom line is that if you don't push and you don't take chances, you're not going to win a rally. The problem is if you're driving at 110%, you just don't know the course well enough, there's going to be a rock that got pulled in the road. Basically, you have to kind of you know, pick the sections that you want to push, and, and you got to say, okay, this one's tight, narrow, and twisty. Am I better at this than, than the other guy? If I, if I can really do better than him, Let's go wide open, let's shock them. Let's pull 20 seconds on the stage. I'm talking a quarter second a mile. That little bit of difference is, is gonna make between whole, you know, hair on the back of your neck standing up to, that felt like a pretty good smooth stage. If you don't push and you, you have a good team behind you and you know, you can get the consistency there, you know, you're gonna be podium third, fourth, second, third, fourth, almost every round. That's gonna win a championship. But what fun is getting second, third, or fourth every round when you know inside you have the speed to win. So we've got two drivers who are not willing to finish second. One stage to go and it's a killer. 24 miles long. Sharp rocks and lined with water. Hang on. Caution into crest into left three long tight. Caution, crest left three long tightens. Into right five plus short turn right two. So here comes Faust in the now lightweight Sim Subaru. Remember, he stripped out all his spares and tools and given them to his teammate, Andy Pinker. At most, that's maybe 100 pounds. Doesn't sound like much, but they only need a few seconds. At the first split. Travis is three seconds faster. Faust must pick it up. Pastrana has a flat, the right rear tire. He's not stopping, he's not even slowing. What a break for Faust. Christy broken down at the side of the road and backs right off to guarantee a one-two finish for Subaru Rally Team USA. Andy Pinker had a flat tire of his own, but on the front, so he had to stop and change it. He finally arrives at his teammate. 120. Oh, no, big jump, 100. All we can do is just tell the transmission's gone. Uh, it's up to you. All you can do is what? All we can do is tow. Yeah. Well, we're, we're going to be fourth, third and fourth. The points are any good to you. We'll, we'll, we better get the third place. Okay. Okay. Right. Is that all right? Okay. Right. Right. Thank you. Well done. With all the leaders in trouble, here's a chance for Stefan Verdier and Scott Crouch. Left four over long crest. Caution tightens. Water on the outside. Done. Faust and Beavis are moving again, but barely. It's not the transmission. Just the right front brake caliper has seized the wheel. Remember, they have no tools. So at one point, they were actually smashing it with a rock. These guys never quit. Sit in there. At least roll the chance we got another. Okay. Look at that tire go as Travis crosses the finish. Yeah, we got a flat tire about two miles into a 23 mile stage. It's, it was so disappointing after being I mean, so lucky at the beginning to, to be able to get in front early. Uh, they had good road position all night. I mean, we had a, a 15 second lead, which was pretty good coming into the final stage. But now when you have a flat tire, we're just, I mean, we were charging. But I don't even think we stayed in front of Ken on a 23 mile stage with a flat that long. There's drama when Ken Block cruises in. 
Ken. This is quite the finish to the rally. <laughs> I am done, thank God, wow. What that you was... probably don't know is that your teammate Travis had a flat two miles into the stage. Wow, so we could possibly win? I backed off on that stage, so he could still have it. We'll have to see. I mean, I saw Tanner and I, I backed off knowing that I had second place, so. Perfect result for Team Subaru USA. Pinker takes third for Rockstar Sims. That was about four miles back. We stopped to try and help him, but um, the transmission failure, so yeah, the only thing we could do was tow him out. So the gap that you had in front of Verdier coming into this stage? Stefan's in the lake. So that means you have kept the lead of the Rally America Championship. Oh, yeah. You weren't expecting that. That was nice of Tana to do that for me, wasn't it? <laughs> what she didn't know is that two miles into the stage, uh, Travis got a flat. True to the spirit of American Rally, Tanner and Chrissy press on regardless. They finish 39 minutes and 31 seconds behind the leader. Their championship hopes crushed, but they finish. He's magic on two wheels, a champion on four, now a winner on three. What's next for Travis? Unicycles? All Subarus except for 17-year-old Kyle Saracen, who put his front drive focus into fourth. Watch out for this kid. Look at the championship points. It could hardly be any closer. And only two rallies to go. Andy Pinker holds on by just one point. Don't count out Ken Block either. The nature of these next two rallies suit him. One of these three drivers behind me will be the Rally America champion for 2007. Travis Pastrana and Christian Edge from one a different rally by pure grit holding on to the very end. <laughs> and that's what it's going to take to be a champion. For Paul Page and Bullwood, I'm Natalie Richard. We'll see you next time at Rally Colorado. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.